Good evening, parents, teachers, classmates, school board members, and Dr. Constantino. It is a great honor to stand before you today representing the class of 2014. Now that we're finally sitting here, I would like to take the time to look back on the last four years and thank the ones that mean the most to us. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. They were the ones that worked hard to put food on the table. They provided comfort in our greatest moments of distress. They gave us hope when our worlds were falling apart. That's right, I'm talking about the good folks at Chick-fil-A on Moortown Road. <laughs> Just kidding, I would like to thank the parents and especially my mom as well. My fellow students, although we arrived here only four short years ago, it's sadly time to leave. Yet at this memorable moment, we can't help but look back and ask ourselves, how will we measure these years? Initially, as freshmen, we measured our time in high school by counting down the days till homecoming and our first pep rally. When the transition finally came, we were no longer amateurs, but now sophisticated sophomores who thought they had it all figured out. That's when we began to measure our time in semesters, and soon enough, we would be measuring it in years. But by the time junior year rolled around, we were ready to take over Warhill. We knew we were officially upperclassmen and our time would be here soon. And now here we are. It's finally over. We are no longer counting down in semesters or years, but rather embracing our accomplishments that have brought us here today. As I stand here, I know that I will measure my time in a rather different way. When I'm old and I think back to my memories of high school, I won't remember that bad hair day that I never had. But what I will remember are all the good times that I had with the members of the class of 2014. Not only were my friendships with students memorable, but my ones with teachers were as well. For me, a certain individual at Warhill, Ms. Stanley, was much more than a key club advisor. She was a teacher and a friend that motivated me to achieve all that I could throughout my years here at Warhill. Sometimes all we need is a little motivation to do big things. I hope that each and every one of you goes out into the world and accomplishes every single one of your aspirations. Don't let anyone hold you back, for you are the only one that can limit your success. And remember, it is up to you to make all the difference, to have people say honorable things about you and to leave the impression that you never gave up on yourselves. Success is never an accident. It is a result of hard work and your dreams will come true. Receiving our diplomas today is just one step in the di right direction to succeed. It is up to you to continue down this path towards success and achieve all that you can. To the class of 2014, we made it. We made it through all the drama, the tests, the papers, the projects, the pressure of SATs and college applications. So congratulations. Be proud of yourselves and remember all the friendships that you made throughout high school. But most importantly, don't let these four years be the best years of your life.